Okay, so today we're going to be doing like a really glowy, dewy skin look. I'm really keen. My skin's feeling really dry today, so it's actually perfect. Like it's a perfect chance to just moisten it, get a nice dewy glow going. Also, I have to just mention how blippin' excited I am that it is the first day of spring. Winter is over. The cold is gone. Oh, I mean like, hopefully. It's a beautiful day today. I felt super inspired to do a glowy, dewy skin look on this summer. I mean, I'm, I know it's spring, but I'm just going to automatically take it to summer on this summer day. So, first of all, we're going to hydrate my skin. I've already cleansed it, so I'm going to moisten it a little bit with these Goody Co. Brighten Drops. This one is actually catered to my acne prone skin. So I will leave my review of it up in the description, up in the description bar. <laughs> up in the cards as well as in the description bar down below and I just do a couple couple of drops smoosh it together a little bit and just pat it onto my skin you don't need too much of these drops if you guys have a beauty oil that you'd prefer to go in with then by all means go in with that this is kind of like my beauty oil it doesn't separate the foundation or anything it's great when it just soaks into the skin and gives a bit of hydration. And I just think it makes the skin look super glowy. Like, just dewy. Like, healthy. That's the best word for it. Healthy. Ugh, I'm just in the best mood today. Like, I just feel... I love rainy days. Especially when you can just snuggle up under a blanket. And I like just editing and everything. That's, like, my ideal rainy day. But a summer... Like, a summery... Like, summer, spring day. Just... I don't know. It just does something to the morale. Like, I just feel so happy and just... A great, just clear blue sky is all I need in life. It's just so beautiful. Okay, so I'm just letting that just soak into the skin a little bit. So I'm just contemplating, do I want to do my brows or do I just want to do my base first? You know what? I'll do my brows real quick off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back. So I realise I probably should have done my brows at the very beginning, but we're just going to move past that. So brows are on. I'm going to like prime my skin with my Goody Co Day Serum. It's perfect for as like a makeup base, especially for a dewy look. And it even says on the bottle that it can be used as a makeup primer. Now I have used this as like a mix in my foundations to make it really dewy, but I'm doing a lot of different like other steps to make my skin glowy and dewy today. So I don't need the foundation per se to be like uber glowy I don't want to be like too much especially because like you know I am oily so I, I don't want it to be like like a crazy like oil fest going on okay last step to like prime the skin I'm going to take this bad boy right here my strobing liquid from Maybelline I haven't used this in like a fair while actually and I'm just going to use it on the high points of the face like um above the brow cheekbone places like that to kind of create a glow from underneath the foundation. I don't really like to use this one on top of my makeup really anymore just because it's it's too light. Like I found it just looks kind of not natural I guess. It doesn't look natural because it is too light for my skin. It's in the shade iridescent. I probably should get the more bronzy toned one but I haven't gotten around to it. Plus I really like it. It's just I like it better underneath my makeup because it creates a beautiful glow underneath that kind of glow from within kind of look and I hit just this part of my chin here where there isn't actually any acne scars at the moment as you can see they're all like along the sides of my chin jaw my jaw not my chin but I'm lucky they're not quite on the chin so I can put a bit of glow there hit the nose bridge of the nose all that kind of jazz I actually love this kind of highlight for like an everyday glow so I'll use less and I'll just put a touch of it on the high points of my face with no makeup and it just gives your skin such a beautiful healthy glisten it's so pretty so for foundation today I'm taking my favorite at the moment it's the raw foundation it doesn't have too much of a like full coverage kind of look to it so it's perfect to help that highlight peek through. If you go in with a full coverage foundation, you're just going to cover up all the, that kind of base work. So I just kind of spread it along. It's not full coverage. It's actually healthy for your skin. It's made out of 
100% natural ingredient. So if you have sensitive skin or you're more conscious of what you're putting on your skin, like I am, then this foundation may be the thing for you. Make sure your beauty sponge is wet. I have heard a lot of people go in with a dry sponge and you just, it doesn't give the same effect. And just see the beautiful glow peeking through. I do go in with a little bit more coverage on the area that I do need it. Like up here, around the redness of my cheeks. This foundation is really good for a more natural kind of look. And I like that for my more everyday summery looks. I just feel in summer, spring kind of time when it's warmer, you don't want something thick sitting on your skin. It's more likely to kind of separate and melt off your face. And that's pretty much for the base. I just have a thin layer of foundation on and it basically the coverage builds up as I add more products anyway to the skin like concealer, bronzer, blush, all that kind of jazz. So for my concealer today I'm using my usual Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen and just applying that over my breakouts for some extra coverage and do my nose for a bit of extra coverage too and then I'll just softly just tap that into the skin and blend it a little bit with my beauty sponge so as my nose kind of contour settles into my skin I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige so this is going to highlight under the eyes and a bit on the face as well contour a little bit with it and I'm also just priming my eyelids with this concealer and this time I'm just taking my tapered kabuki from Sigma to blend out the concealer so I like using this one to kind of contour and highlight my face and then use my medium wing like instant age rewind to conceal any blemishes and breakouts because the instant age rewind is this like similar shade to my skin tone so it won't highlight those breakouts which is not what you're looking for you want to conceal not bring attention to them and obviously that LA girl one highlights so it gives a bit of contour and structure to the skin whilst of course also concealing and providing 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 a bit more coverage and of course to set my skin like my face and concealer and everything I'm going to use my raw pressed powder in the shade nude and because I want quite a glowy skin look I don't want to set too much of my face I'm really just setting under the eyes where we concealed and then my forehead where I get oily like my t-zone and just setting a little bit on those breakouts too just along here so I'm still leaving this bit bare where I had the highlight that's just to keep the glow under the skin so you're not mattifying at all and I'll just take a setting spray an ideal setting spray to use in this scenario it would be like a glowy dewy finish setting spray but I don't have one of those so I'm just using my Kat Von D locket setting spray to give a bit of glow and color to the skin I'm going to take my baked bronzers from BH cosmetics yeah and I'm literally just dipping into all of them and applying them to like the areas of my face where we naturally catch the sun get a bit of colour to our skin oh, and it leaves such a beautiful finish and I'll hit the areas on across my nose here where we naturally catch the sun as well and I'm just softening it a little with my beauty sponge just where I feel like I may have gone a little bit too ham with the product. <laughs> but oh, it leaves such a beautiful glow and colour to the skin. Mm -mm -mm. So I actually don't think I'll use blush today. I think I'll just keep it bronzy and glowy. I will apply my highlight but probably at the end. So I'm just going to move on to the eyes. That beautiful like smoky brown liner. Mm -mm. So today I'm literally not going to apply anything through my crease. I'm just focusing it on that beautiful brown smoky liner. So today I'm going straight in off the bat with the shade Mocha from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette on an angled like brow brush. 
And as you do with any normal wing, I'm going to map out it up towards the tail of my brow and drag it back. And then grabbing Puta from the Jack and Hill palette on a clean pencil brush, I'm just going to slightly smoke out that brown liner. Just the top of it really. And again, grabbing a little bit of a mocha and just kind of deepening up that wing really close against the lash line, not making it as thick this time. I want it to just be quite pigmented right up against that lash line. And really, I don't really want it to come all the way to the inner corner. I want it to kind of rest just here in the center of the eye. So it's kind of creating that feline cat shape but it's also soft, it's not closing the eye off. If you want it to be more dramatic, you can definitely bring it into the inner corner, but I'm not. And just clean up your wing if you feel like it was a little bit messy or anything. I'll just kind of clean the edge up slightly. And then just repeat the process on the other eye. Good thing about using eyeshadow is if you get the angles wrong, you can just smudge it out and do it again. There we go, we've got our little smoky liner. It's so simple and so easy to achieve. It literally takes five minutes to do like both wings. It takes no time at all. So I'm just curling my lashes. Um, I will probably put falsies on, but really soft natural ones. I think it just, this look is calling for soft natural lashes. So you definitely could just wear your natural lashes you don't need falsies but I'm just giving you guys the option so what I would wear with these and mascara I'm just using my usual colossal from Maybelline so for lashes today I've gone in with my temptress wispy pair of lashes from house of lashes so I was going to go in with my Demi Wispies from Ardell, but I can't seem to find them at the moment. So I've just gone in with these ones. The Demi Wispies will just be a little bit more natural. These ones are a little bit more extravagant, but they're still super like natural and wispy, like still in that kind of category, just a little bit more glam. Okay, now I've got you all nice and zoomed in. I'm going to apply a nude eye curl to my bottom waterline to really open up the eyes. And then just grabbing some of Puta from that Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just smudging out the outer corner bottom lash line just softly. Just to give a little bit of definition under there. Always connecting it up to that outer corner wing. And then just lightly coating my bottom lashes. Nothing too much because I do want the drama to be focused on the top. So for the lips, I'm just quickly giving them a bit of a line and just slightly filling them in. And for liquid lipstick today, I'm going to take my Kali Cosmetics Commando Liquid Lip. It's a velvet finish, so it's not quite a matte finish the look it's velvety but even still I think I might put a little bit of lip gloss on top so I'm going to chuck on some of undressed from dose of colors just on the very center so for heart today we're going all out I'm going to use a couple I'm going to first take my master chrome highlighter from Maybelline in the shade molten gold and apply that to my cheekbones and then for a more intense highlight I'm going to take moon gleam and just layer that on the very high point just here and I also just hit my inner corners with this with that moon gleam shade and brow bone too and just go back in damn that is some glowy AF skin so this here guys wraps up today's video I really hope you enjoyed this glowy dewy skin makeup look and this soft brown smoky liner if you guys have any requests for any upcoming videos anything you want to see please leave it down in the comment section below and also leave a thumbs up before you leave have an amazing day guys i love you all so much and i'll see you very soon bye